Question 8. Here are the test marks for the students in Mrs. Potter's maths class. Part A. Complete the frequency table for these marks. The way I usually do this is go through one value at a time, cross it off as we add it to the tally. So 28 is between 20 and 29, put one mark in the tally and then cross it off. 36 would be the 30 to 39 group, cross it off the list. So this way we just continue through the list to make sure that we have put each number in the correct place and have only counted it once. That's a three mark question this one. So we have to make sure that we've kept this accurately, that we've made no mistakes, that we're using the correct format for our tallies. So I'll show that one in a moment. And that we've counted up our frequencies at the end. Now do remember that once we've passed four into our fifth tally, you put a diagonal line through a group of four for the fifth mark. So when we come on to the next number that's in this group, we start a new tally. This way it's very quick and easy to count groups of five. So just finish this tally section off. 23, that means it's a diagonal line through there. 12 goes in the first group. 38 in that group. 36. 40. 45. And 27. So if we count up our tallies now. We have 3 in that first group, 6 in the next group, 9 in the next group, and 3 in the final group. If we add all of those together, it gives us 9, 18, 21. If we count all the numbers we've got lines through at the top, there are also 21. So therefore, we can show that we've got all of our numbers in the tally table for 3 marks. Part B work out the number of students getting less than 20 marks. Well, less than 20 marks means that we have to be in the 10 to 19 range, which means there are only three people, the frequency being three, that scored those numbers. It's a very easy mark if you've completed the table correctly. If you made a mistake here, as long as you read off the number you had on the table, that would still get you the mark.